A child once asked me, Mr. C, what is matter? Well, in order to know about matter, we need to go to ancient Greece and the philosopher scientist Aristotle. He said that everything was made of one of four elements. Fire, water, earth, that's dirt, and wind, that's air. So if you took an apple and looked at its parts, you would see that the juice is made of water, and apples come from trees planted in the ground, so it also has to have earth in it. Later, a bunch of scientists decided the Greeks were wrong and that real scientists wore pants instead of togas, and that matter is made of atoms. Now, atoms have three parts. Protons, they have a positive charge. Neutrons, they have no charge at all. And electrons are bouncing around everywhere, and they have a negative charge. And protons and neutrons together make the nucleus, or center, of the atom. Now this is a helium atom. Two protons, two neutrons, and two electrons. Now, what if a bunch of helium came together and decided that they didn't like any other atoms? Well, a group of one kind of atom is called an element. But what if one kind of atom, like hydrogen, wanted to hang out with the king of organic life, carbon, and make methane, the gas of cutting the cheese? Adding one type of element to another type of element is called a compound. In review, all matter is made of atoms. A substance made of one type of atom is called an element. A substance made of more than one type of element is called a compound. In other words, an element is a pure substance made of one type of atom, and a compound is a mixture made of more than one type of atom. For more great science videos, like or subscribe to the links below. Until next time, this is Mr. C.